standardized patient, by definition, is a healthy person from the community that we bring in and we teach them to be sick. We have this really rich resource of people, so you can imagine. I've got people who not only can, can facilitate learning, they're very bright, they can memorize checklists, and um, they have a dedication to students' learning. Everybody brings different talent. So mine happens to be in opera and music and in makeup. Someone else's might be in accounting and statistics. And when you have a leader who says, okay, so this is how you can fit, it really, I think, changes the overall arc of the program. We're always trying to think, how can we alleviate some of the teaching that our faculty are required to do, especially the basic skills. I'm not, not talking about clinical reasoning. We're talking about the very basic skills. We thought, okay, a couple of those skills would be suturing. So suturing is very nice because there is a checklist. First you do this, then you do this, then you do this. Then it's because it's very, very checklist oriented, we can make sure that all of our students learn the same technique. It's the common goal of, but I want to help. I want to make a difference. I want to figure out how to be the best communicator, how to get my patient to be motivated to change. They're kind of fine with the fact that there is no ceiling. Um, I'm going to go out and see if I can get you an appointment set up within the next week or so. Sounds fine. Good. All right. You take care. All right. Thank you. All right. I was winding this up with Miss Moore. She's a first year student here. And um, I was explaining to her that the things that she did well and she should enhance, but keep, keep these traits. And the, the items that uh, she needed maybe a little bit of help or refinement. Um, and that's what we do, is we just get them uh, to refine their techniques. She had excellent eye contact, your open body language, your facing towards the patient, and it makes the patient feel like you really are participating. My most rewarding part of the job, I think, working with such a large collection of people that are so dedicated to helping the learners. The SPs are their biggest advocates and that's just wonderful. Our students are comfortable in talking to patients. The patients are really comfortable in talking to our graduates. We do have resident directors who, you know, call and say, you know, do you have any residents that are coming my way? We'd really like to talk to see them because they know that they're going to hit the ground running.